I was really glad to have some quality time with Anwar a couple of weeks ago to hear all about preparations for it. And I know how these evenings bring us all together, help us to realise how much we have in common, both in our concerns to cherish the world we share and to celebrate the richness that Islamic artists and musicians and poets and teachers bring to us all. I've always found the crown jewels of this evening has been the times that we have just for mixing together and for social interaction. I think it's been a really wonderful event. So nice to hear the different perspectives. So I thought it was really inspiring hearing directly from the, the students and um, really getting a sense of just how much thought they had put into their presentations. I love the pyramid, the dome. Everyone shares something over art and I think the quilt is lovely, it's such a good community event, people coming together, spending time. Yeah, it's been really good to see that creativity, about having music, having art, having food. It's just a wonderful opportunity for different groups to come together and to get to know each other a bit better. Uh, and what better excuse for doing that than Interfaith Month, so yeah, I've been really pleased with the event. I think there should be more to bring people together, like especially in younger communities, because I don't know if there was or there wasn't stuff like this going on when I was younger, but I definitely didn't hear about it if there was. And I feel like it would have made me feel a lot more part of something because it can be quite hard to be in England from a different culture. I felt quite connected with the people here and that I felt quite grateful to have grown up in Milton Keynes and live here because it feels like they do have an understanding of other faiths and it's really accepting compared to a lot of places. I really feel like they have a community feel, these events, you know, I really enjoy the music and there were a bunch of speeches, uh, the deputy mayor, um, the most important thing for me was seeing the students speak, I really enjoyed that. My father owns International House uh, in Dubai and um, he has an art collection which is being displayed here. Wonderful display of artwork. I mean, both some of it contemporary because it's been created by people from Milton Keynes, uh, but also some historic Arabic painting. What, what we've seen this evening is we've got people from all different backgrounds, different faiths, different cultures, different experiences, all coming together. And I think with some sort of sense of mutual understanding and sharing of things, sharing of, of very good food, sharing of thoughts, it would be great to have more events of, of this kind. It's, it's very important, can only help us understand one another better. Well, I personally think it's really good because it like really shows that there is faith within our community and I don't think it's touched upon that much, but you can see how important it is to other people and how relevant it is to the world around us as well because obviously like people are becoming more aware of environmental issues. And it's, and it's topical because our generation especially is going to have to take care of that. Mm -hmm. It does help to kind of break those divisions because faith groups often people see them as kind of dividing people up but then with this it allows us to see how religion can influence certain thought and you don't have to necessarily be religious in order to accept the text. And it's just to highlight and emphasise how important it is that we um, learn about each other and we grow to accept who we are as um, you know and our beliefs as that's the only way we can then go forward and progress as a society is only once we achieve that harmonious relationship between us.